what you're doing it's not as sexy like you don't have you know a million followers and you're not doing these like extravagant video mr b style videos sure. but uh it's converting yeah and your videos are the kind of videos where like people in our industry like send them to each other yeah like check this out like dude one of them that actually got sent recently was one where you're breaking down your done with you done for you do, do, do it yourself. yourself and it was just like the easiest simplest thing and so the fact that your content is making circles with high level people speaks to the volume of like the strategy and the customers you're talking to. Yeah, dude, I appreciate you saying that. That that you're, I know you're jazzing me up a little bit here, but that that means uh, it's funny because uh, like the other day I was I was talking to my girlfriend and uh, I got this message from this guy on Instagram. He has like 1.3 million followers on Instagram. He's crushing it in the financial e learning business. Yeah, I've never even heard of him, but like he was like, "Yo, I just wanted to send you a message. I've been I watched like every video of yours on YouTube, and like this shit should be like 50 grand, and you're putting it on YouTube." I showed him my girlfriend. And and I was like, this is literally exactly the type of client that I want to be attracting. And we ended up having dinner uh, later that uh, week in Sea Spice and uh, had a really great conversation. I learned a lot from him as well. I don't know if I'll ever be like, uh, like Hermosi went like eventually very mainstream, like with the videos, like, you know, the the diet and all that stuff, which I'm, I mean, he, he obviously knows what the fuck he's doing. I'm just saying that. And I might eventually do that as well. But right now, like my videos get on average, let's say 1,000 to 3,000 views. But like you said, it's like the people that are watching these, dude, 50% of our revenue comes in from our YouTube, like no doubt about it. And so... So they're like sending them to other people. And uh, would I like to get more views? There's no doubt about it. But even right now, I had a conversation on our media team right before we came here. My mo most recent video was actually, um, I, I think you had Dan Martell on your, uh, yeah, so I had Dan Martell on my uh, podcast and we switched. Your from thumbnail was sick on that. Bro, that's what I'm about to say. So it's funny. We switched from doing like a super high production. Like it takes two weeks for these video editing to get it out. And I was like, you know what, dude, let me just fucking loom video a Google Doc and let me put it up on, on YouTube. And we've been doing that and it's been working so well. And it takes I don't even need the editing team now. I just go straight loom video, Google Doc. I might do a ClickFunnels lead magnet just to get the if they want the access to the Google Doc and they'll uh, opt in for it. I'll put it on YouTube. And then the only other bottleneck. So one of our other values is simplification and systemization. So the only other the bottleneck I have from not even needing a media team is thumbnails. And I was like, what if I just fucking put a photo up instead of doing like an actual thumbnail? And so I did a photo that Dan and I took at the uh, at, during the podcast and it's converting at the same click through rate as like my graphic design thumbnail guy that mm -hmm. did it. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's like very simple. And so all of that being said, I think the goal is actually uh, next month I want to do five. So right now we're doing three videos a week. I think next month I want to do five videos a week uh, okay. and ramp it up. Yeah. And so but the only way you could do that is if you're doing like raw loom videos, maybe jump cuts and like photos. I don't think you at scale, it would be real difficult to do like crazy animations and thumbnails and all that. I had a media team of 15 people and I hated it. So like I, I like this kind of leader approach for sure. Unless you're a full time content creator like you know then yeah then case. it might make sense yeah but like at the same time who i'm going after is different than maybe what the person who's like trying to be mr beast on here but like if you could all things being equal put out the same content and one requires a team of one person and the same amount of work and it's one requires a team of 15 people i would always take the team of one even if you had 10 percent, 20 percent less views or something like that if you could do it by yourself you know you and i were talking about this before we started rolling here like when you start getting payroll and team members and like the thing that you started to love doing this becomes this like monster that you're kind of more managing than you are like enjoying your business. And so I'm always the fan of like, we definitely have team members, like I said, but if I could eliminate it or automate it, I'll always try it. Even, at least test it at first. Mm. Hey guys, for the first time ever, we just released an insane training bundle that has literally everything that I've learned going from zero to $25 million online, plus $20,000 worth of free gifts that we're throwing in it, all for an insanely low, low price. If you want to get your hands on it, be sure to click the first link in the description down below now.